My name is Todd Sale. I'm Senior Vice President of Customer Experience at Fleet Corps. I, I first heard about Zing Tree through a colleague in our UK office. Our UK office had a very successful Zing Tree deployment. We were trying to solve for some complexity in the US. This complexity had already been solved in the UK and the UK team came to me and said, hey, you should take a look at this technology. Interestingly enough, I really wasn't interested in another tech stack, another application for our agents to use, but as soon as I got a demo, we were hooked and we've been uh, all in with Zingtree ever since. What made us begin working with Zingtree was really trying to solve complexity. We are a company that has many products, many systems. We've made acquisitions over the years and our service environment is really tough. And we knew we needed to simplify our complex service environment for our associates and obviously offer better customer experience. We found Zingtree, we started a small pilot and that pilot was wildly successful. We actually took a pause to really regroup so we could create something scalable and have been running hard ever since. We're about a year into our Zingtree deployment and roughly half of our interactions are fully supported by Zingtree. So the onboarding process is interesting because I had my operations leaders do the original design, authoring, building, and release of these experience trees. It was a little strange for us. Normally you have IT folks, you have a project manager. Surprisingly, we did it on the cheap. We did it with existing resources and we continue to basically use a lot of these same resources. We have invested in a couple dedicated people since the very beginning to get scale, to get consistency, and to make sure we can collect data in the most optimal way. Zingtree held a few training seminars. We went and built out some trees and then did some more training sessions with QA, and we have been off and running ever since. Now, I will say the ongoing support from Zingtree has been fantastic. We have a really great account manager. We're engaged with the product leadership at Zingtree and we just continue to learn and optimize with the platform they have that's growing. It evolved from the very first time I heard about Zingtree. I felt a little bit like I was a prisoner on a phone call. I really didn't want to be there. I didn't want this additional tech. I fortunately was aware enough to just sit and listen. It did take a couple meetings. It did take an actual demo of how our UK business is using Zingtree. And that got me hooked with the idea. Since then, Zingtree has been a, a great partner. They've helped us think through some challenges. Super helpful just trying to troubleshoot the few couple things we just couldn't figure out. Even now, I think they're very receptive to what's the long-term roadmap look like? How do we think we could use Zingtree in a much broader way? So I would say the relationship has been really great. Very much a partnership versus kind of a vendor-client relationship. We use Zingtree now for every inbound customer contact, whether it's voice, chat, or email. Now I will say that we're still building out all of the detailed workflows. So think of it as half of our contacts are fully supported inside of Zingtree. We prioritized based on value. We got the really tough stuff done. We got the high value compliance related, revenue related things done. Gradually working through the list, our intent is to have 100% of our inbound contacts supported and managed through the Zingtree application, like experience trees. Then we want to pivot to some more innovative things like customer facing trees, contact deflection, contact optimization, and such. So Zingtree has helped us improve CX processes by really, number one, creating some structure and expertise for really every contact that we have enabled. So if you think about it, it's really hard to have the expertise and the knowledge of a highly complex job. Entry-level customer service rep, it, it's, I think, the toughest job in our organization because of the complexity and the change. So Zingtree has helped us give them confidence, help them deliver expertise, deliver a great customer experience. It's helped us to manage some crazy change. We're a company that changes a lot. We're a company that likes to measure things and tilt and pivot based on those results. So we've, you know, we learn things, we change things. We've done retention offers with that frankly didn't work. 
but we knew they didn't work very early so we could pivot those resources to something more effective. We use Zingtree in the UK for customer facing contacts where we're able to deflect a significant amount of our inbound, say, chats. We're also able to take an inbound email, create structure, and make that email go from maybe three contacts for one resolution down to really just over one. Those are things that we're, we're doing across the globe and, and how we're currently using Zingtree. Has it helped me advance my career? What I would say is it's given me something really exciting to talk about. So I have had the pleasure to speak at a few conferences this year. The content has been around expert service. And without Zingtree, I probably wouldn't be talking about expert service. I would be talking about some more kind of mechanical things of the contact center. And frankly, being able to talk about expertise is really exciting because you're helping both customers, obviously, but you're also helping the associate and the agent. You can't emphasize enough how hard these roles are. And for me, it's been very rewarding just having conversations with other CX leaders about a very simple solution to a very complex problem.